Okay, so hurrah, we have uh, most of the parts back from uh, the engineers, uh, mainly the crankshaft, camshaft and barrels. And, uh, you know, they've done a, a fabulous job. You know, the barrels are uh, amazing. And, um, yeah, you can probably just see, look, there's, a, there's a, just a line of crack there. And that's where the new fin has been welded on to the to the barrels you know obviously when the head's on you'll have no idea at all nicely painted beautifully uh um rebored and honed uh and then the uh, crankshaft is looking great it's all been blast cleaned obviously like, like the barrels were and uh then it's been reground to minus 10 and uh, all, all cleaned and you know beautifully done uh, and the camshaft, we had that uh, bolt that sheared off that was stuck inside the camshaft. Now, no longer. And again, that's all been cleaned and that's all great. And then we've got uh, some new main bearings supplied. We've got new tappets. They will need to be adjusted. You have to um, just uh, uh, find it. We'll go through it, but we just have to, to sand them down sort of find them. Um, to, to get them to fit there uh, you have to make sure there's a little bit of play between the tappets and the and, and the barrels uh, we've got the new pistons so they're plus 20 pistons plus 20 rebore yeah we're on a plus 20 uh, and then we've got the plus 20 um, piston rings uh, which are nice uh, yeah so I think we've got the uh, those are the headlight standard rings you really don't want to use those. You always want to upgrade rings. Um, I mean, I certainly on my on my Tridents, but also on, on the Commando, if you want to get the best uh, seal you can. And we've got the big end shells, so they've been reground minus 10, so we've got the sort of plus 10 shells. Uh, and the guides for holding the, the tappets in. So uh, that's great. And, you know, I'm very pleased. Fantastic job. Haven't got the cylinder head back yet, although I don't really need the cylinder head uh, for a while because obviously we're building the bottom end, so I'm not too worried about that still being done. Of course, the only real downside is it's been nearly, it's been very close to 10 months that's taken. Now, I don't mind it being 10 months. I don't mind. What I do mind is that we were told three months. Now, if I'm told three months and it takes 10 months, then I would expect, at first I shouldn't really be told it's three months, but I would expect someone after three months or thereabouts to ring or contact and say, oh, look, I'm really sorry, it's taking longer, but, you know, it's fine, you know, but just no contact whatsoever. And then the really annoying thing is when it did ring up after about six months or seven months, like, it was quite like, why are you ringing? What's, you know, <laughs> I'm busy and, you know, cool, it's just, you know, to sort of be um, no real apology or, or you know so so that, that leaves a slightly bitter pill but but only only slight i mean the, the, obviously the quality of the work is is um is exemplary um you know i just wish that the um there had been uh, a, bit, a bit more sort of contact a bit more politeness in the uh, in the contact between us and the engineers but um anyway it's back let's look on the bright side it's back we've got the pistons and uh so i can now finally start rebuilding the engine uh so that's that's great we'll, we'll get on with it and hopefully you know by the time the engine is together then we'll get the head back uh in time you know but we won't need the head for a while so there's there's no rush so hurrah parts are back let's get on very shortly i'll get on with uh, rebuilding the engine it's just to be honest i've got everything ready and i've got all my gasket sets and everything and then what i forgot to do i forgot to order any new big end bolts uh nuts you always always replace the, the nut on the on the on the big end on the con rod and i forgot to order any so i've just had to order some today i just dawned on me i've got everything else ready uh, but I haven't got those, which is literally about the first, literally the first thing I need. So um, I, I can get on, I can get on with sizing these um, tappets. Uh, 
uh, you know, while I'm waiting for that. So a couple of days, then we'll start doing the crankshaft, getting the crankshaft in the crankcases. Uh, hey, <laughs> exciting stuff.